I met my pup, well, when he was a pup. We found him on the side of the road one day, and we brought him home, we gave him food and water, and he warmed up to us so quickly, it was like, well, he was always a member of the family. I still remember the times we'd go out to the park. He'd just sit with me. He wouldn't go off running with the other dogs. He'd just sit with me. It was magical, really. Of course, good things never last, and it was around middle school. Things started getting bad. One day, he just wouldn't get out of bed. We tried playing it off as a joke, saying, oh, pff, we got a lazy dog, but... They take him to the vets, of course, because why wouldn't you? And I didn't see him for two weeks, OK? And then all of a sudden, they come in and they say, you've got to say goodbye. How can you say something like that? Everyone else went in, and they had their closure. <laughs> they all looked at me, and they said, I've got to go in. I walked in there, and there were all these tubes and wires. It wasn't him, OK? I couldn't do it. I couldn't say goodbye to a lifelong friend. I ran out of there, and I didn't look back. I've hated myself for it ever since, so don't ask me if I'm fine, because I'm not. I'm not. 